and hinge. Yeah. But even at that, there were Christians who would rally around the guy, even though that he was only... His psychosis was related to his Christianity. They couldn't unlink the two. And... Ah, uh, yeah, but which was the cause and which was the effect? Yeah. But they amplified each other. I think no. I, I think it's that if you're psychotic, you you I'm are yes, in that you are more likely to be susceptible to I the things right. that religion can offer you, like certainty. Mm -hmm. Right? If you've got a, a compulsive, obsessive need for yeah, I clear understanding, true. religion will promise it to you. It doesn't actually give it to you, but the promise is is worth. Uh, that's what they get the reward out of. If you've got a, a psychotic like that, they will adopt religion in a very solid fashion. And you only have to look at your, your, your cult leaders for this. You know, David Koresh and Manson and all this sort of thing. I tried to make an internet company. Well, I, I, I agree. I, I mean, I... I, 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 I always... Um, it was. It, it was a fantastic business plan. It Money had no. Soul TV. It had, <laughs> is it worth your soul? Well, the yeah. thing is, it had no. It had no overheads or expenses. It was internet, right? So there was yeah. no expenses involved. You didn't have to buy material, no shipping, nothing. That's a great one. It's not shipping, just sold. Yeah, it was because you could buy like souls online, and and there was no there was no overhead, you know. There was, yeah, but but buy a soul that way. No. You can you can actually do the most deprived thing and sell oh, someone else's soul. And get money for yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, it, it's uh, for those who want contingency in the afterlife. Well, I was trying to think how much I could sell my soul for. You know, and also, you see, you know, I was going to uh, sell souls right now and get money for it. You know, I get to have yeah. money from stupid people. Yeah. And, that, and they get to have fancy. Uh, I, it's, it's a difficult thing. Is it is it ethical to milk stupid people? Yeah, it's, diff it's uh, difficult. Well, uh, I'll never be able to have the heart to really rip them off, though, you know. Well, uh, you're, you're not for a moment suggesting that Peter Popoff's behaviour is ethical, are you? No, but... Uh, right? Are let, you let, talking let, about let the average hunter who finds some form of comfort in religion and therefore goes to church on a Sunday and feels better as a result um, and puts ten pence in the um, donation tray as they leave the church? Is that what you mean? Uh, I feel like I've lost the thread of this. Yeah, I've, I've lost where that was going. But yeah. just so you know, I, I was thinking of creating the Bible according to Bert. You see, the, 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 the Holy Bible is actually a, a rip-off of an artifact that I have just found called the Bible of Bert. Mm -hmm. where I'm a witness. He found it. He can, he can reference me as a witness. And that exactly there by a holy angel, yes? Yeah? Yes, yes, and, uh, and I'm a witness as well, and that, that's completely credible and can be cited at, at every opportunity. And, um... Hallelujah! Yes. So you already have, you know, people who will swear by it, which is all you need to start a religion, and then you just, you can go for it. You're flying. I'm right. a, oh, excuse just me, I'm, I'm going to start so praying you know, now. Just... No, Bible no, no, is exactly the same. Just, just so you I, I'm, I'm... Apart from, in the original, it's called Bert. Right? Jesus doesn't exist. Jesus is just a cheap rip-off of a guy called Bert. Right? So all... The entire Christianity I, 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 is wrong. I, I'm gonna it should be Bert they should gonna... praise. Well, I, I have my own God, and I just need to say a quick prayer to him. Excuse me a second. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. <laughs> I have to do that every now and again. You're such a suck-up, BPR. <laughs> I know. Bert. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the Bible according to Bert. That's the way it's going to go. Uh, and when when can we expect this uh, great revelation? Is it going to be like Frank Smith, and you're going to find it? Did you find it in, uh, written on golden plates uh, somewhere in Canada on your travels, uh, or the back of the lab? <laughs> yeah, back of the what? Back of the lavatory. The lab. Pure yeah. Monty Python. Oh. The hand <laughs> came out of the bowl and delivered it to me. Just it was a miracle. Just because some watery tart threw a sword at you. Right? It's like, <laughs> No way women lying in ponds distributing swords is no basis for a system of government. <laughs> Absolutely. And of course, um, 
being the uh, honest person that he was, that he, he then reburied these uh, plates of gold. So I presume that you flushed your revelations back down the toilet, having made a note oh. of them. Having made a note of them. <laughs> they destroyed the original copies. Do what. Um... Was it? Was there any? Was there any paper at hand to write them down on? <laughs> no. No, he remembered. Sorry, them. he remembered them exactly verbatim, and then he wrote them down <laughs> divinely, and he didn't make any mistakes in the translation. Yes. Well, we, I'm it looks sure like we all. It was... Yes, the Bible also now comes with a new front page. It reads, "To my darling Candy, all characters in this." in this book are fictional and any resemblances to people or persons living dead or undead is purely coincidental yeah. put that bit out when they yeah uh, it's the lost page from the bible yeah red, red ball, ball bingo for the win <laughs> the undead is from the one that line from douglas adams town of prophets and he says can i have a prayer made for me i guess it's all fine I'll get, have you got a pen all right here's the prayer lord 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 protect me from knowing what i don't want to know hmm. protect me from knowing that there are things to know that i don't know protect me from knowing that i've decided not to know about the things that i've decided not to know about and then the last bit's the most important one it's very important and most of the trouble that people get into comes out from missing out this last bit lord 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 protect me from the consequences of the above prayer amen yeah. And it's where the, 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 the ultimate get out clause. That's where everybody prays anyway, secretly inside them, so you might as yeah. well have it out in the open. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it, it's essentially a variant on it. Ignorance is bliss, and the delusion of knowledge is also bliss. Mm -hmm. God created I, I the universe, but I, I, I don't want to. Well, no. I mean, I, I think that if. You don't know that there are things that there are unknowns out there to know, then it doesn't bother you. Well, I mean, some like somebody who's been blind their whole life doesn't miss not be, not seeing things. I I think thunder. The problem is that you are restricting yourself to thinking with inside your realistic bubble yeah. or box, and you really need to expand your mind. I, a bit, I come up with an interesting variant. You've never addressed on that. My Criticism. On my hours of driving around the country, you get a you get the odd moment to think, right? Odd moment. And so this is now the comeback to PCS. It is he is entirely correct? We limit ourselves to this dimension, which is called reality, whereas PCS also includes this dimension, which is called the supernatural. And he's entirely right that there can be all sorts of wonderful things in the supernatural. But PCS has an entirely closed mind to the ultranatural, which is the third dimension. So you have reality, the supernatural, and the ultranatural. And what PCS doesn't understand is the ultranatural is where the real gods really exist. The supernatural gods only exist in the supernatural. Whereas all the real gods, like the flying spaghetti monster, the great space vegetable, and the invisible pink unicorn, they all live in the ultranatural. And the Easter Bunny, too. But that's oh, debatable. Yeah. I mean, there's a great deal of debate he, on that subject. Easter Bunny's the, the, the hit honcho. Yeah. No, he runs yeah. that shit. So, yeah, Easter it's the ultranatural. Yeah, it's, uh, as, as I said earlier on, it's interesting that uh, despite the fact that he can't provide any evidence whatsoever about its existence, except that it cannot be tested or verified in any way, um, he happens to know the mind of God, um, which is extraordinary. Let me just test this out. Um, I'm just... Well, yeah, but I mean, what, what better way to promote your... God thinks I'm special. Then God that allows me to speak for him. Yes, I, God speaks through me. I am His servant. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness! The amount of ego involved in that is extraordinary. Yeah. Did he just vandalize his own page? Uh, yes. Oh. Let's be your right back. I just only recently found out what that means. Yeah, uh, there are most of the. Uh, I thought it was a misspelling of something. Or corruption or something. And I wonder yeah. why everybody kept misspelling the same damn thing all the time. <laughs> yeah. There shouldn't there be a vowel in there or something? Yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah. Andromeda's weeks back. 
Let me get that um, Salmon of Doubt book just for a second, just because I think there's one of these atheist books. Nah. Which leaves me essentially alone here. Which is sort of how I've been for most of the last ooh, five weeks. Uh, apart from 